Uh, so today I am finally going to be putting my Easter bouquet together. Uh, now some of you guys may recognize uh, this little dude. Uh, he's the little bunny that I, I showed you guys uh, when I did my live chat. He's going to be going in this bouquet. Uh, now this bouquet is not flowers, it is not candy, it's just a bunch of fun Easter things. Oh my goodness, there are eggs and there are bunnies and there are butterflies and there are carrots and you know there are pinwheels. So things that remind you of Easter and spring are all going to be in this bouquet. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just show you the supplies that I used in my bouquet. Now this is just to give you guys some ideas. You do not have to uh, do this exactly like I have done. Just make this your own, but this is just to give you guys some ideas. So the first thing I did was purchase a basket and I did get this at Walmart and uh, it's, it's just a very nice little uh, woven basket here with a little metal frame. Uh, now the metal frame has lots of holes in it as you can see so I just took a piece of cellophane and just lined my basket so that when I put my Easter grass in nothing will fall out all these little holes so you may be able to skip that step just depends on what your container looks like and then I also just have a piece of foam styrofoam down in here so that I can stick uh, my wooden picks into and then I'm just going to put some uh, Easter grass that I have here. Uh, now this is kind of like the straw Easter grass. I'm going to show you here in just a minute since I get that out of this bag. And um, you know so it kind of looks like grass because this is more of like of an outdoor themed Easter basket. So I'm just going to put that in there to cover up that styrofoam, fill in those holes and you know just sit that right down in there like that. And that is uh, my container. And um, now I'm ready to go ahead and put all my wonderful goodies in there, but I'm going to show those to you before I put them in. Uh, of course, some of you, uh, of course, have seen the little bunny. I think he is oh so adorable, but the little bunny head, I got him at Hobby Lobby. So cute he is. Uh, I have some eggs that I'm going to be putting in there. I just glued these to a stick so that I can stick them down into my styrofoam. I also saw these carrots, you know, and you just can't have a bunny without having some carrots. So I got some carrots to put in there. Also a few of these little pinwheels. Oh my goodness, so very cute. I also have some uh, butterflies. Um, that is, you just kind of clip those on where you want them. So I love those. I also have a little uh, pick that says Happy Easter. So I'm gonna be putting that in there. Also, um, these right here. Now, I, I made these. Um, they're very easy to make. I will just show you. I got these. They're little window decals. You know, you peel them off, stick them to your window, then you can take them back off of your window and put them back on this piece of paper and use them again over and over. But I did find these at Hobby Lobby as well. But what I did is I just uh, cut out some wood the shape of each one of these little stickers, which is here. And I just traced the sticker, then cut the wood out, stuck the sticker to the wood. Now, um, the back side, of course, I always have to do the back side of things. I just sprayed it with some metallic champagne pink uh, spray paint. And then I lined uh, this right here with some metallic uh, silver paint. So that is how I got these awesome little eggs. Aren't they cute? but just loved all the bling in these. So now, uh, oh no, I've got one more thing. <laughs> also I have these little fillers like this that I'm gonna be putting in there. That's gonna take up all the dead space that is in my bouquet. And I'm gonna show you real quickly how I made these uh, and then I will be putting the bouquet together. Um, so I just have um, a piece of ribbon now, it just depends on how big you want these, how long you're gonna make it. I just kind of cut it and you know went with it. Uh, I have a pipe cleaner. And then I cut two pieces of, you know, this, uh, oh my goodness, what is this called? Um, the stuff right here. <laughs> I can't even think of what it's called. I'll think of it later and tell you guys. Uh, but I cut two pieces and I'm just going to take it from corner to corner and roll it. There we go. And I did two of them, so I'm going to roll the second one. Just roll it up from corner to corner. All right, just like that. And so now I have two pieces. I'm gonna stick uh, my ribbon right in the middle. Huh? Oh, you came unrolled. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I'm just, I'm just kind of distracted because I'm trying to think what this stuff is called. Anyway, I'm gonna put that right in the middle. I folded it in half like that. And then I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner and tie it really tight in 
the middle and uh, I always have to use the table and my body to kind of hold it for me. You know, you just do what you got to do sometime and just tie that really, really tight <laughs> like that. And you have your little filler uh, piece right here. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get this bouquet put together. Okay, so before getting started here, I, I missed one step that I wanted to show you on the little bundle. And I finally remembered that that is deco mesh. Oh my goodness. Um, but I took a little stick and this pipe cleaner that is hanging down this little tail here, I just took that and wrapped it around the little stick. That way I can have, um, you know, something to stick down into the styrofoam uh, with my little uh, deco mesh and ribbon filler here. And then that way it covers up the stick just a little bit too. So let's just go ahead and get this started. together. Uh, I did make a few adjustments as I pulled out some of these little wooden eggs that I made because they were also tucked down in there. You couldn't see them. Yes, they were supposed to be hidden, but not completely hidden. So I did pull those out just a little bit so uh, you could see them. And um, you will have to do that sometime when you make a bouquet because uh, yeah, after you fill it up like I do, um, you know, it happens. But a lot of people say, you know, less is more. <laughs> I have a little issue with that. I love a lot. I love my bouquets stuffed full and just, uh, you know, with a lot going on. So that's just me. So you do not have to put this much frou-frou into your bouquet if you do not want to. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.